So, I'm late for the third time this week and it is only Wednesday. Right, why I bought the MT-09? A lot of, a lot of lads ask me, mates that have bikes, why I bought this bike. My last bike was a um, Kawasaki Z1000 and it was my first big bike. It was excellent. I loved it. It was, it was fast. It has the it had the look I was after. I don't like the sports bikes. I like the naked style sit upright sit upright bikes. Thank you. That's very nice of him. I am impressed. Yeah, so I, I was never in the market of um, buying a, a sports bike as such because I just can't stand them. I don't like... They're fast, don't get me wrong. They're fast bikes. Fuck this. Don't get me wrong, they're fast bikes, but I, yeah, I, I can't deal with the leaning over. Um, yeah, so the Z1000, was, it was nice. Um, I think with any any bike when you're riding in conditions like this where it is slightly damp personally I've always been a bit weary about using my front brake well not using it as such it's, it's, it's always been in my head where I've would I have to make an emergency stop and it just it just scared me in the wet the front wheel slipping if you if you search on YouTube you'll see hundreds of them even in the dry where they um where there's been an emergency and they've had to slam that front brake on but they've done it and it's a rider error where they slam it and the bike just slips <laughs> so yeah you now um a lot of people say it's down to rider skill and it is it is down to rider skill braking on a bike is literally an art form <laughs> an art form and then when you and that's in the dry when you take that in the wet it, it becomes a masterpiece you have to master it so after the Z1000 I never used to like to ride that in the rain I, I would ride it but I would always be literally shitting myself in conditions such as this now so when I decided to get rid of that the only criteria I was looking for was for a bike with ABS. Now I know there's a lot of controversy about that as well, where people are saying, oh I don't need the computer to do this, I don't need a computer to do that. As far as I'm concerned, I mean on this, this has got ABS. I can I can threshold brake just like I can on a normal bike or a non-ABS equipped bike. And it's it's just there, it's there. So if that if that wheel slips or that wheel locks up momentarily the bike will take care of it for me so it's not an it's an aid it's not a thing to live by so I would not jump on a bike and think to myself right I've got ABS that's it I, 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 I'm Mr. Moto GP rider and I can control the bike as best as I can that's not what it was about for me anyway for me so for me it's just I'm going to brake as I can. I can threshold brake. I, I can brake pretty good anyway. But it's just... If, now I know when I'm on this, I know that if I do fuck up, or if I do mess up, and it will be right to error, that the bike will... I've got a, a safety aid there. I've just got a little bit extra. It's, it's more of a psychological thing. On this, I've had the back wheel lock up. I've had the ABS kick in on the back wheel. Um very wet conditions it was actually at the end of this road here um, and I've never not once yet had the front wheel lock up yet <laughs> yet but it does also help you in patches of oil gravel that sort of thing gravel will probably make you extend your braking distance just because of the the, the way the the surface is anyway so 
yeah, I wanted a new bike. I knew I wanted ABS, so that's literally all I was typing in. I was on Auto Trader, eBay, whatever, Gumtree, and all I was putting in was ABS. That's all I wanted. That was the only criteria I want. So I wasn't set on uh, MT09 at all. It, 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 this just came up because I got a really good deal on this. So months and months of searching. When, you know, when I buy anything, I'm one of these guys. I, I'm not a spontaneous buyer. I will research, research, research cons, pros, this, that, anything. So I'm searching through these sites, literally looking for ABS, and this this popped up. I actually wanted the MT, um, MT10. That was what I actually wanted, but it was like 10 grand, and I could not justify that amount on a bike. So after months and months of searching, this particular bike popped up on eBay, a company in Birmingham was selling it, um, and it was actually their demonstrator bike. So they, it, it was owned by the, the dealership as such. It had something like seven or eight hundred miles on it. So it was, it was, and it's 2016. So it's 2016 when I bought it. This one was uh, registered in March. I bought it in November, October, November, that sort of time. I can't really remember. But yeah, so for me, and I saved probably about two grand off of the off of the um, brand new book value price sort of thing. Yeah, and so this one it had ABS. It was a little bit more than what I wanted to spend, and it also had traction control. So when I saw it, that, that was it. So basically, that's how I come to the decision of this particular bike as such. My favourite colour in this is the the white with the blue wheels and the blue forks. That would have been my first choice of colour. But as I said, I mean, that was a compromise I did make. But yeah, I knew, I, I definitely, I wouldn't go back now. I definitely made the right choice here. I've slipped out twice on this in where well, I park on the way home twice. So um, it's in one of my videos, one of them. The other one I didn't make on camera. Look at this! Look at this! This pisses me right off, man. <laughs> it was the engine. It was the bike engine that done it. The beat weren't working. <laughs> yeah. So as. The traction control itself saving twice. As I said, the back wheel, it's easy to lock up anyway. You can control that, even without ABS. I haven't had the front wheel lock up yet. When I do, I'll make, I'll make a nice little video, maybe. Hopefully I'll have it on camera and then all of you guys can see it. See what I'm on about. I am here in the UK from 2017. Um, I think it's above 125. All bikes mandatory have to have ABS out of the factory, so it will be they can't make them. So, future wise, all bikes will come with ABS. I think below 125, I think 50cc, there's no criteria on it. Um, I think 125 scooters and learner bikes either have to have ABS or combined braking. Combined braking is not something I'm a fan of, but yeah, I don't. Um, ABS is something that I would I would recommend definitely right guys this is me I'll speak to you later